Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys with the Veterinary News Network. You know, pain control and pain management is a very important topic in veterinary medicine. And we've made good advances with the drugs that we have. But there are new technologies and new therapies that are gaining some attention. And the one I'm about to show you might surprise you a little. Our pets can be painful from chronic conditions like arthritis or from injuries like burns or car accidents. And while we have many potent pain relievers and alternative therapies, we are always looking for something better. Something called cold laser therapy might just be what we're looking for. Unlike science fiction lasers or even surgical lasers that use high energy to cut or cauterize tissue, cold laser systems use low levels of laser energy. The lower wattage is thought to stimulate cells and encourage a more natural healing process. This therapy has not only been used in dogs and cats in need of pain relief, but some veterinarians have expanded its use to exotic lizards and even the occasional large mammal. Veterinarians and proponents of this new therapy think that the pets probably feel like they're getting a professional massage. It's not unusual to see an animal fall asleep during the laser therapy sessions. This laser therapy could offer hope to pet owners who are considering euthanasia of an older pet with severe arthritis or a pet with another severely painful medical condition. Veterinarians are even using lasers on fresh wounds like burn victims. Be aware there are critics out there. Websites like Quackwatch conclude that there's no evidence that lasers are healing. But at the same time, they also say lasers are causing no harm either. Frankly, it's hard to argue with the results when you see a patient like this that's happy or one that's this relaxed. Now, the FDA has approved laser therapy uh, for use, but it considers it experimental, which means you may find insurance companies unwilling to cover the cost of the treatment. But as with any new or alternative therapy or treatment or drug, there are a lot of unanswered questions. I'd like for you to call your veterinarian and see what he or she says about this and get their recommendation because they know your pet best and what's going to work best for you. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys with the Veterinary News Network. I'll see you next time.